Triad MLS Virtual Training. I'm Karen Dietz, your instructor. Welcome to Matrix 102, Search Instructions, Part 1. In this video, you will learn how to locate properties by street number and street name, by street name only, how to find listings that are on highways, learn what is a cross-property search and when might you use that type of search, as well as learn how to find listings that are scheduled for upcoming open houses. Searching by street number and street name, the simplest tool to use in Matrix, if you have a street number and street name, is the speed bar as seen here, a street number and street name. By using the magnifying glass icon or pressing the enter key on your keyboard, Matrix will find every time that address has been listed in our system. The ST column is the status column. As seen with this example, this listing has been in our service three times. The current listing is active. Once it was withdrawn, and once the address expired, Triad MLS listing history will go back to 1996. When using the speed bar to search for properties by address, remember just the street number and street name. Do not type any street suffix, city, zip, or state with that address. To make an entry of just a street name, like in this example, Oak Hollow, in seconds, Matrix will retrieve every entry for every listing that the street name was Oak Hollow. The columns of information on the agent single line display may be sorted. Sorting by ST status would group all the active listings together, pending listings to collect, gather, closed listings together, and so forth. How to locate properties that are on highways. In the triad, we have many highways, just a few. North Carolina Highway 150, 49, 62, and U.S. Highway 421. Here is a very important tip to remember. You will never be able to guess how listing agents have entered the street name for any of the highways. Take a second and look at just a few of these examples. Using the speed bar is not an option for locating properties on highways. To find listings on highways, you will need to perform a more detailed search from this location. All of the Triad MLS property types are found here under search in the menu bar. Each of these property types have this section location. For training, we will be using ST street name and learn to use the asterisk, the wildcard search. Without using the matrix wildcard, the asterisk, whatever is typed in the ST name field must be an exact match of what you have typed, remembering that it is impossible to know how listing agents type out highway names, always, always use the wildcard search. An asterisk before and after will give you all of the results that contain what you have typed, as seen here in this example, asterisk 150 asterisk. And on this residential detailed search, I have found the four active residential listings located on Highway 150. Take a close look at the differences in the address line. Obviously, without using the wildcards, I would not have found all four of these properties. Asterisk, always a very wise choice, specifically when trying to locate listings on highways. One search option in this list is a cross-property. What is a cross-property detailed search? Well, this allows members to search for more than one property type at a time. Why might you need to perform a cross-property detailed search? Remember our example trying to locate all the listings on Highway 150? We did the residential detail search and found four. 
But what if you're unsure if the listing was actually residential? Maybe that sign was on vacant land. Might it have been zoned commercial? You just are not sure. The only thing you can do to find all the properties on Highway 150 is to perform a cross property detail search with active status selected using the ST search field type asterisk 150 asterisk and the results reveal that there are actually eight active listings on North Carolina Highway 150. Looking at the PT column, property type, you will see all the different property types. How do you find more than one property type at a time in one search? Remember, use that cross property detail search. Back to the menu bar and search. When you use more, it expands all the search choices, including a link to an open house search. Performing an open house search in the bottom left of your screen, you will see the total number of properties that are being advertised with upcoming open houses in the triad. Under the open house date, use the lookup calendar icon if you would like to find open houses for a specific date. Use other search filters to narrow the search, subdivisions, county, zip, or city. Columns of information be, may be sorted here as well. Select properties, then use the print icon. Select open house detail. These reports may be emailed to you or to your clients or printed. Are you having an upcoming open house on one of your listings? If so, be sure to advertise this in our matrix system. Edit that listing, select open house, enter the open house information. Be sure to make this a public open house if it is open for the public. Then be sure to submit. Now agents searching for open houses will find your open house. Your listing will also be flagged with the open house icon banner on Buyer's Clients Portal. If you need any assistance with any of the search features discussed in this video, please email helpdesk at triadmls.com. Be sure to watch our Matrix 102 Part 2 series for even more helpful tips on searching for listings in Matrix.